Hey guys, welcome back. This is Brian from the BTN HD, and yes, uh, we're finishing off our software updates with SCCM 2012 R2. Uh, the next following videos after this is going to be upgrading our SCCM to the latest and greatest uh, version to support Windows 10 and deploying stuff, right? Uh, most likely, the next video is going to be upgrading our infrastructure to 15.11 and 15.11 to, I believe, 16.05. I think that's the latest number so let's get started so uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I deal with uh, creating uh, criteria uh, within SCCM 2012 for updates creating a group and deploying that group makes life a little easy so let's get started so within our SCCM 2012 console we want to go inside uh, software library and we're going to expand the software updates folder and go to all software updates Okay, uh, most likely you're going to return a bunch of items if everything is working correctly. Uh, so what I'm going to do is right here, it's uh, you get an option to add a criteria. And the ones that I like to use is uh, bulletin ID and also where are the ones expired. And there's two more that I like to use product and super cited. Cool. Click on add. Good to go. Now, for the bulletin ID, we are going to type in uh, capital M, S, right? And for expired is no. Super cited is going to be no. And the product that we're looking for is Windows 10 because that's what we're going to be pushing out pretty soon, okay? Um, do, 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 do. We're going to find Windows 10. Awesome. And we're going to click on search. And I have a couple of items, which is awesome. And if I do a control A right here at the bottom, it tells me how many Windows 10 updates I have. I only have 16, which is pretty small, which is pretty good, right? Now that we use the add criteria to locate all of our Windows 10 updates, uh, let's save this. Uh, so I, let's click on save current search and let's give it a name. Uh, I'm going to keep it nice and consistent and keep it simple. And we're going to do Windows 10 updates. So if I was looking or I did a criteria Windows 7, most likely it's going to be Windows 7 updates, right? Keep it simple. And from here, we're going to click OK. Now, if you're wondering how to locate this uh, new criteria that we created together, it's really easy. So what you want to do is go inside your search, uh, save searches, and go to manage searches for current node. And you're going to get the Windows 10 updates if you click OK on that it's just gonna locate all of our updates that we did now next thing that we need to do is create a group now this group is what we're going to push out to our container okay so it's really simple to create a group you need to make sure that your criteria is up and running okay and we're going to do is a control a to select everything and we're gonna click on the home tab and within the home tab you're gonna get this nice little option that says create software update group so just click on it and give it a name and I'm going to give it as Windows 10, uh, what is it, uh, update group. That's pretty simple, right? Windows 10 update group. And we're going to click on create. And once that creates, you're going to see that group within this node right here. So we're going to click on software updates groups. And once it loads up, you're going to see our Windows 10 update group. Awesome. So if I right click on it and I say show members, it's basically going to show you uh, all the updates all the updates within that group right so what I'm gonna do is let's go inside all software updates awesome all right so within here it's time for us to deploy our uh, group to our container to our Windows 10 container that we did together a while back so within our software updates group folder or node uh, we're gonna go and click on our new group that we created together right uh, we're going to right click on it and you're going to get an option to deploy, right? Or you could do it this way or within the tab. If you just select it on the home tab, you got the button that says deploy. Whichever one you prefer is up to you. Uh, I'm going to right click on the group and just hit deploy. From here, you're going to get a nice little dialog box or wizard uh, for you to configure to push it out to your collection or your container. Uh, I'm going to click on browse and the collection that I'm going to be pushing this group into is all Windows 10 systems, right? Because it makes sense because there's a Windows 10 updates. Push it out to your Windows 10 machines. 
and I don't have anything as of yet but pretty soon I will have so don't worry we're gonna click OK on that and we're going to click on next so from here I'm going to do is the type of deployment is required definitely is going to be required you have different options I want these Windows 10 updates to be pushed out right away uh, your detail level only success and error messages this is really up to you uh, if you do both success and error messages that means your logs uh, is going to get filled I'm going to do only error messages and uh, click on next now for your time based it looks like from my understanding a lot of the research that I've done it looks like best practice is to use the UTC so that's what I'm gonna pick your software available time you can make it uh, you can specify a time or you could do it as soon as possible I'm gonna make it as soon as possible and the installation deadline uh, you could do as soon as possible or specify a time uh, normally for deadlines I like to specify a certain time and uh, pushing it out I like to do as soon as possible so we're gonna click on next on that so the only thing that I'm gonna do within the user experience is I'm gonna leave the display and software center and show all notifications I'm gonna leave that as the default but the deadline behavior I'm gonna check these two guys because I do want the software updates installation and I do want the system to restart if necessary so we're gonna click on next on that and within the alert I am going to generate an alert for the following conditions by default it's 95 but I'm gonna change it to 85 percent I'm gonna leave everything as the default I'm not gonna change anything else and I'm going to click on next and I am definitely going to click on the download software updates and distribution points for the install I definitely need that and for the deployment option I'm gonna leave it as the default and I'm gonna allow clients to share content with other clients on the same subnet this is also a plus click on next and from here uh, we don't have a deployment package so what we're going to do is create a new deployment package so we're gonna give it a name and the name is really simple it's gonna be let's call it Windows 10 updates how easy is that right and you have to specify a package source and you're gonna make sure it's using a UNC path and I believe if I do a Windows R I think I dropped everything inside my source this yeah right here and these are updates and I'm going to create a folder called Windows 10 awesome and I am going to do a control C and I'm going to paste it awesome and I'm gonna leave the default as medium now for sending this is really up to you you could change it to low medium high by default it's medium I'm gonna leave it as medium and click on next we don't have a distribution point but we need to add one so let's click on distribution points and we only have only one click OK awesome we're going to click next and it says uh, download location specify the source location for the software updates that you will download download software updates from the internet download software updates from the location of the network I'm going to leave it as download software updates from the internet and click on next the language by default is English and you can pick any other language that you want click on next and nice little summary of what's going to happen and this is really up to you and this is a cool thing that I like about SCCM 2012 R2 you can actually save this as a template and because if you're doing the same options over and over and over and over again uh, you don't have to remember them it just create a template so I'm gonna create a template right here and I'm gonna call it Windows 10 update template awesome and we're make sure it's updates because there's more than one and we're gonna click on save and click on next now the way that you know that everything is working is if you go inside that UNC path that we provided during the wizard you should see stuff populate and that's always a good thing again it shouldn't take too long for me because it's only about 16 updates that I'm pushing out it's already three of them right here three and that's it guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of how to create a criteria create a software group saving your criteria for later on deploying your software group to a specific collection and also creating a template within the wizard so you could use it later on and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy leave comments right below don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video and also supports the SCCM series it, it allows me to continue going if you guys support it uh, and I catch you guys on the next one peace out